Hello, this is Yoav, and um, I'm about to be speaking to Will Wright, this new game that a lot of people have been talking about. It's called Spore. The scope of the game is infinite. There's never been anything like it, and um, really is groundbreaking. So I'm quite excited uh, about uh, being able to talk to Will Wright. Hey, Svergia. Really, one of the things we wanted to do was make science feel deeply personal, so that you're creatively involved in every step of this, you know, and it's not something that is being taught to you by a teacher in front of a blackboard with a lot of science, but it's something that's fun and creative and almost artistic. I think play really was developed as one of the earliest educational technologies. I wanted players almost to see this as a philosophical toy. We can actually simulate, you know, millions of unique worlds uh, where every species is different. You know, everything you see was designed by some other player. So we're kind of harvesting the creativity of all these players as they play and redistributing it to the other players. As a kid, I spent most of my time building models. Uh, I build these elaborate models of tank planes and tanks and ships and stuff like that. At some point, I kind of realized that I could build models on the computer, and these models actually had dynamics, and they did things, and they changed. And that was fundamentally a more interesting form of model building to me than the kind of models I used to build. And that's kind of what got me into computer games. Well, I think games are intensely personal. You know, they really want to be about every player having their own unique experience. And that does make them fundamentally different than like films, books, television, where you have one creator over here and then a lot of people watching what they've created, but they're all having the same rough experience. Uh, I think we're gonna see games potentially get much more deeply personal down the road as the computer can learn to understand the player and in fact kind of reprogram the game around that player's interests. In online communities, initially people were trying to make these things very top-down. Here's the way the community is going to be organized. Here's what you can do. Here's how people interact. And those sorts of communities always die very rapidly. Whereas the ones that are more driven from the grassroots, you know, but have some amount of structure from the top-down, tend to be the very vibrant, thriving, unpredictable, creative communities. So I think that's part of my optimism, is that the world itself is going to become kind of more reactive. And I think the big challenges we face in the future are probably going to be solved more from the bottom-up level. And a lot of it has to do with how do you just change the perceptions of a billion people around an issue. And if you can change a billion people's behavior slightly, that's going to have a huge impact compared to any amount of legislation you might impose. I'm curious as to what music you were listening to when you drove across America, coast to coast, in 33 hours, 29 oh. minutes. <laughs> We were not listening to any music. Really? Because we both had uh, headsets on listening to different scanner frequencies. <laughs> what possessed uh, you to, to make that mission? Uh, well, actually, I, before I got into computers and all that, I was into racing, into rally, like WRC type rally, cool. except in the US, which is a smaller sport in the US, but it's the same kind of rough idea. Uh, so I did several years of rally, and I also got involved in kind of illegal street racing. And that was one race I always wanted to do. You know, there are like, like certain races I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to do that race. Uh, next one I want to do is the probably the Baja 1000. And one day I would love to do the Paris to Dakar. Well, that, that, that seems like quite hardcore, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I think I just want to do it once, you know, but uh, I would really enjoy it. Mm -hmm.